In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add Calendly here to your Framer website. So here is an example website and I've added my Calendly to it. I'm also going to show you as well how you can get it to stretch to the whole page because some people will show you how to do it, but it's very narrow and it doesn't stretch to the whole page. So here I am inside of the Framer editor. Now what I've done is I've made room for this. So I'm going to use this page here to add the Calendly widget. Now, once I've made room for it, I simply just need to open up Calendly. And then once you're inside of Calendly, this is provided you've already got like a call set up. So here I have a personal training initial call, 30 minutes. What we can do is we can click on share and then you can go add to website and then add here inline embed. If you click on that, then click continue, you can then copy the code. This is going to be HTML code. Now we might need to edit this a slight bit later just to get it to fit the width of the website. But here we are back on Framer. Go to the plus icon in the top left, then make a search here in the search box for embed. Once you've done that, click on embed. And then if you scroll down on the right, you'll see embed. You want to click on HTML and paste in that code, then click enter. Now what you might find is it embeds it, but it's going to make it very narrow. So what we'll first do is we'll drag it on where it needs to be. And we can go ahead and drag this widget down. But obviously we don't want it to take up all of this page. We don't want it to be narrow. We want it to be wide, right? So here are a couple of things you can try. Now I like to change the width and the size to a thousand, and that's going to make your box wider. Now, if that doesn't respond on the Calendly embed, you just have to scroll down to the HTML code. And if you find here where it says min width, it's going to say 320. Go ahead and delete 320, change it to 1000, click enter, and it should then be good. And there you go. That's exactly what we're looking for. We can then publish it, update, and if you preview it, it will be working. So there you go. That's how you can add Calendly to Framer. I hope that quick video did help you out.